with it. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. Today is Theme Deck Thursday, so that means we are going to either be playing Theme Decks or opening Theme Decks or both. Today we're doing both. So for those of you that aren't aware, uh, every so often Target will get some good deals on Theme Decks. Uh, they will actually get some older sets for about $9.99. Um, recently I saw these, the two Steam Siege, as well as Fates Collide. Um, I think I've even seen the XY Evolutions in there for $10 before. I don't know if I've seen any Sun and Moon, but I imagine it's only a matter of time. So if you want to get a good deal on a theme deck and then you want to join on the TCGO, that's a good way to get yourself started. HDMI. No HDMI. Yes, HDMI. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I have no clue why it does that every so often. It's not common, but it does happen. So I apologize, guys. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, is first, we're going to go ahead and go through both of these decks. I've not seen them. I've not played them, although I might have played against one. Um, I do keep the code cards for the theme decks for those of you watching, because after this, we are going to do some TCGO online gameplay. Uh, Rift Jumper. Oh, you have the, the, the Hoopa? So yeah, I've, we did open the Hoopa 10 the other day, uh, so that video is up on YouTube. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up the Hoopa deck first, um, since Rift Jumper seems to be excited for this Hoopa, 10, Hoopa, 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 Hoopa box. So we're gonna go ahead and open into this one, and we're just gonna run through the deck, show what all comes in it, as we always do. Um, and then that way, when we go into the TCGO online, I won't have to describe <laughs> the decks and the cards and how we're going to play them. Um, I, like I said, I like going in not knowing how these play, uh, just because then it kind of, it helps me learn. And then I feel like it helps those watching learn as well. Um, so here we go, throw all this trash away in our handy dandy bag. So this is the Hoopa card that uh, Rift Jumper was talking about. So it is the holographic Hoopa. Uh, they do get curved. If anybody collects Pokemon cards, uh, you'll know that these cards do start to warp. They are easily solved. Put them in a sleeve, put them in a deck, put them under some weight, and they'll usually flatten themselves out. Uh, the second thing you get is your coin. So here is our coin, so a Hoopa coin. So it is a nice coin. Um, I don't use coins anymore. I have my elite trainer box. So of course I use the large dice and then our damage markers. And this is old school here because there is no GX counter. So these are old school markers. They're not the double sided. And of course in the new decks, we don't even get a GX marker. Um, and then they do give you a nice little rule sheet. Um, this will tell you if anything has changed in the rules like your dual types, your break evolutions, uh, the new mega forms, well, I should say the old mega forms. Now, of course, we get Gigantamax. Uh, so I don't need that. You can, oh, hang on. Bella's going to get it. Actually, she's sleeping. Shh. Maybe quiet. All right. And then, of course, you do get a play mat. So they used to do double play mats where one side is going to be Hoopa. Uh, and then the other side is going to be, oh, and I forget his name, Volcanion. Volcanion is his name. Um, so here we go. So as you can see, it is just a standard little old play mat. So we got our Hoopa, our active, our bench, and then our Volcanion, our active, and our bench. Now, I don't know when the new Zacian and Zamazenta um, theme decks come out, whether or not they are going to continue to do separate ones, um, or if that was just because the Grookey, um, Score Bunny, and Sobble decks, or the Rillaboom, Inteleon, um, Cinderace decks, whichever way you want to go in. I, I don't know if it's just because those were the individual uh, Pokemon, so they did it that way. But let's go ahead and get sorted through this so we can go over the cards that come in this deck. So let's see if we can do a better job than I usually do. Normally I mess this up somehow. Uh, some more energy, Ambipom, Joltik, Ninja Boy, Shona, Litwick, Umbios, more energy, Ambipom, Howlucha. This looks like a fun deck. I'm liking most of, most of these cards that are coming in here. Uh, there's our Mareep. Rip Bloom. Lumpet to the Litwick. Another Mareep. Another Joltik. Energy. So we will also be playing these. So Audrey did come up. Audrey is here now. Uh, we did get her an earlier flight 
uh, before everything got shut down. So we're really lucky we were able to do that. Um, so we will be doing some pack battles and we will also be doing some uh, TCG gameplay with our theme decks. So look forward to that in the future. If you would like to see that, um, we will be doing that usually Mondays and Thursdays. However, we may do it at any time based on her schedule. She does uh, Spanish, English, French tutoring. So of course that does take up some of her time. Uh, so we of course need to go around that because they are kids in like Japan, China, Russia, stuff like that. So they're the opposite time zone of us. So it does make for some interesting things. So let's get through the cards after I get a little uh, H2O. All right, so we've got Tierno here, which is a normal draw three. Uh, normally the rival is always a draw three. Uh, Evo Solda, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, put it on their Pokemon, this counts as evolving. Um, so that's a very nice card because that allows you to evolve in the same turn that you actually played and search out the evolution. Professor's Letter allows you to grab two energy. Again, a very helpful card. Ninja Boy, I have not played him. Choose one basic Pokemon in play. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and switch it with that Pokemon. So that actually could be pretty good. Say you have uh, one of your evolution lines ready to go, but you have the wrong basic. This allows you to switch your basic out. Energy Retrieval. Allows you to put two energy from your discard back into your hand. Uh, we get us another Tierno, a potion, heal 30 damage. Another letter. We have Shauna. So this is shuffle your hand into your deck, draw five cards. Uh, for those of you that have watched some of the previous videos, we are trying to, I'm going to start a full art trainer decks where I want to get one of every full art, not the rainbow rares, not the gold, just the regular full arts. And then a second Ninja Boy. Ultra Ball is our draw. Um, I'm not always a fan of this because this is a discard two, but you could discard two energies and then combine that with that energy retrieval to bring those two energies right back. And there's another energy retrieval, speak of the devil. So that is our item and trainer cards. Um, so now let's get into our Pokemons for this deck. So the Pokemon for this deck, I guess we'll start with Galvantula. So Galvantula looks like it is a three one line. Uh, which is kind of odd that it's that they gave you three basics. I, I don't like that just because it does, in my opinion, clog up the deck. You've got so many of these basics that you don't need. Uh, and that is why these theme decks are not meant to really be played tournament, right? So 30 HP, that's one of the lowest I've ever seen on a Pokemon. Uh, and then Attach does 10 damage. And then, of course, the Evolution would be what we want to look at as an attacker. So he is 90 HP, he is dual typing. Uh, double thread, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So we do have a sniper here. Um, and it does it to two, that's really nice. Um, Electroweb, 30 damage, the defending Pokemon can't retreat uh, during the next turn. So really it seems like Galvantula, I would use him more as a sniper. I can't say I would use it as a, re to stop somebody from retreating. So our next is Halucha, which is a normal type Pokemon. Uh, his ability is when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may have your opponent switch uh, their active Pokemon. So that's really good. Um, Acrobatics, 20 plus. Flip two coins, does 20. Yeah, I will never do that. I hate coin flip attack moves. They're about useless. He is to allow you to switch Pokemon. That is really his only purpose. You get two of him in the deck. So then we have our... Ambipom, Apom deck, or, or evolution line, I should say. Um, I think I've seen these ones. I love this art. This is definitely the one I'm looking for for my Pokédex binder I'm going to build uh, tomorrow, actually. We're going to start that. Um, but you got your Ambipom, Fiddle Around, does uh, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck, put them back in any order. This can be really good um, if to basically hinder their game, right? Because you know that, oh, their next card was going to be the energy they needed. Well, now you can put it two more turns down. Um, unless they have an energy draw support or maybe they're trying to get that third evolution or their stage one or their stage two. So that's really nice. Um, tail jab is his normal attack, 20 damage. So nothing nothing to write home about, right? Normally your basics don't write home to mom. Um, so Ambipom goes up to 90 HP. Let me slide that down. So is that's still Ambipom. There we go, Apom. So he goes from 60 to 90. Um, and then he has furry, not furry, furry chance. He has a furry chance. He has a Fury Chance, 20 plus, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If that card is an energy card, it does 60 more. So actually, 
If you can make him last two turns, do that. Put an energy as the top card. Well, put an energy as the second card. Okay, now math is coming in. Oh, math. So you put the energy as the second card, and now you're going to do 80 damage when you evolve him on the following turn. Double hit 50 times, flip two coins, does 50 damage times the number of heads. Again, not a fan of flip moves, but at least it's 50 damage, so you can do up to 100. So our next is our Litwick Lampet. So it looks like it is a 3-2 line. So Litwick, 50 HP, uh, Psychic, of course, because it's purple. Uh, slightly Simmer. Search your deck for two cards, discard them, shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay, we don't have much draw support, so the only thing I could think of would be two energies. So then you can retrieve the energies, because we don't have anything to put anything else back in our deck. So that would be the only reason I think that that would be useful. Um, and then, of course, he evolves into Lampet. So his HP goes up a little bit, 80 HP. Mirror, mirror. Each player either draws or discards cards until the, each player has four in his or her hand. So it's a draw four. And then if your opponent has seven cards, it's a quasi-reset stamp because you can actually get them to remove those. Flickering Flames does 20. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. I can tell you when I play on TCG online, the computer always gets heads. So I can't say that's very useful. So Drifloom looks like it's the same thing. It is a 3-2 line. So we have Drifloom. I love this art again. I just love the way those colors mix together there. Um, 60 HP, transfer pain, move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to your opponent's Pokemon. That's mean right there. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, he evolves into Drifloom. Drif, Drif Blim, because he's a blimp. Drif Blim. So, dramatic HP increase. It goes up to 100. Uh, Eerie Wave does 30. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So, of course, that's good. It can cause them to damage themselves. And then, Burst Curse. Discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. Put eight damage counters on your Pokemon any way you like. Wow. So, you basically... Can put 80 damage however you want you can snipe their bench out so you can kind of combine that with our galvantula and take out those low hp basics out of the bench um, and i don't know if one of these other guys we got two guys left actually do additional damage if the pokemon already has damage on it uh, a lot of your bench snipe decks are designed to work that way there we go so this is our <clears throat> stage two line so it was a 3-2-2 two, two line, which is normal. We start with our Mareep. We also start with a little bit more water. <sighs> Nectar of the gods. All right, so 60 HP. It is an electric. Thunder Wave, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And then tackle for 20. Again, seldomly are you using your basic Pokemon as your attacker. Unless, as we saw with the APOM line, the first move allows the second evolution to do something more. So, Mareep, of course, evolves into Flappy. So, we go up 30 HP to 90. Uh, the ability is Ram for 20. And then Thundershock, 3 energy for 50. Flip a coin if head, it is also paralyzed. So, this is nice. I don't mind these. It's going to do the 50 damage no matter what. But then it has the chance to paralyze. So, let's go ahead and move our... Laffy back a little bit. So ugh, the three stage ones are hard to hold. All right. So Ampharos is our last evolution line. Another huge jump in HP. So this is most likely, of course, going, is our secondary or might be primary. I don't know if Hoopa is an attacker. So 140 HP. Shocking Light. Once before your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon EX. Um, will not help us tonight. Because, of course, we're not playing against any EX decks. We are playing the theme deck meta. Gigabolt, 80+. plus. Flip a coin if heads. This attack does 40 more damage. If tails, your opponent's Pokemon is paralyzed. I like that either way. We're either going to do 120 damage or we're going to paralyze him and hope he can't flip out of it or get out of it. So that is a very nice. I like Ampharos. I really think that is probably the primary attacker. But never say never. Let's go ahead and look at our wonderful holographic Hoopa here. So Hoopa is 130 HP. Um, hyperspace Punch. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. 
Uh, of course, no weakness and resistance. So again, another bench attacker. This deck seems very highly reliant on knocking out the low-end Pokemon off the bench. Um, Portal Strike, 130, three energy, very nice. This Pokemon can't use it during the next turn, and that's normal. If it's only three energy and usually over 100, and 100 <laughs> damage, it usually won't allow you to use that on the next turn. So that is the first deck. This is the Ring of Lightning deck. Oops, might help if we put all the energy and everything back in the box too. Um, so I am, I am happy to see, I've mentioned on a previous thing about how the theme decks and even the versus decks, I did the Rayquaza and Ultra Necrozma, and Ultra Necrozma, I still mess that up. The Ultra Necrozma deck uh, on another video, and I mentioned how like these boxes are useless. Once you put sleeves, these, these boxes are useless. So this is probably the one and only time you guys will see this box because I will be sleeving them up when me and Audrey play. But the new trainer boxes that are coming out, and there are two, there's a trainer box, and then there is a more like the battle arena box coming out uh, those boxes of course will be coming with sleeves a deck box dice things like that so it really is a good entry point for league play uh, because they are based off of the reshazard deck and the uh pika rom deck um so we don't need that again we already saw that we already saw that we already saw that throw away the trash there we get in there trash all right, so let's go ahead and we will get in here. So here is our uh, Volcanion coin. So a beautiful looking little purple coin there for us, or purple. I don't know colors, orange coin, orange coin. Rev jumpers correcting my necrozma. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and we will sort this deck out the same as we did the last. Uh, we usually don't take as long going through the second deck because 90% of the trainers are the same so if I've seen the trainer of course we're just gonna go ahead and bypass it so this one looks like it is fire metal uh, yeah fire metal deck it's all Tierno clink all right so Pokemon Center lady was new got us a, another meow or uh, not a, another meow that is our only meow Rapidash a Monferno love Monferno there's our Ponyta meow clang ninja boy Link, Lit Leo. There's another Persian Chinchar. Another Clang. Hopefully, I'm not messing up like I did last week, where I put um, I forget who it was. I kept putting him in the uh, <laughs> in the the trainer pile. For the life of me, do not remember who that was. A so Clang. More energy. More Tierno. Another Clink. Another Clink. Holy cow! I don't think they gave us enough Clinks and Clangs. I think I got more of them than any other card in the deck. What? Look at that. Another Ponyta, another Evasota. All right, so all the other trainers, and I apologize, I did whack the uh, camera there. All the other trainers were the same. So we'll go through the one trainer that is different, which is Pokemon Center Lady, which deal, uh, heals 60 damage from your Pokemon and removes the special conditions. Um, the reason um, this does this is because of, of course, the previous deck had the Paralyze um, mechanic. So they always make these two decks kind of battle each other. That's how they design them. That does make for interesting matchups when we get into the theme deck meta. If you're going against decks that don't have that, because now you have a card that, not to say it's useless, but it's kind of useless. So this is weird. I, that's This is a weird line. So you get a 3-3 three, three Meowth Persian line. That's kind of odd. So 60 HP on a Meowth. Uh, this is the one where he's on his little mechanical contraption that's being blown up by probably Ash and Pikachu. Stall. Uh, you can use this tack only if you go second and only if it's your first turn. Discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's real good. Great first Pokemon. Maybe that's why they've got three. You got a better chance of getting him out and then disrupting your opponent. Uh, and then Scratch does 20 damage for two energy. And then we have our Persian. Hello, Persian. We got us a Persian. So Raid does 30 plus. So the plus is if this Pokemon evolved from Meowth during this turn, this attack does 30 more. So it almost, you don't want to evolve to Persian until Meowth is your active. Uh, Fury swipes 30 times, flip three coins. It does 30 times the number of heads. Yeah, not a fan of that. Just like I always say, I don't like flip decks. I don't like decks that re re rely on chance. Um, however, I did see a 
a fellow YouTuber who actually was um, trying a completely flipped deck. Like everything was flipped. The attacks were flipped. The ability to get Pokemon was flipped. They tried to flip everything if they could for the cards. Uh, so Chimchar is our next line. So Fire, 60 HP, Scratch for 10, Ember for 30, and you flip a coin, if Tails, discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. That is very bad at a base level, and it looks like he is trying to destroy Clink and Clang. <laughs> and then Monferno, he is our Stage 1 Evolution. So it is 80 hit points, uh, so not a great jump. Um, scratch for 20 and Flare for 30. So really, did we get a mom for an ape? No. Okie dokie, I'm not really a fan of him because we don't have the Mon Fernape. It's like, what's the point? All right, so we'll go on to the next fire guy. Maybe he's, maybe he or she, I don't know. Ponyta's kind of a girl to me, so I'm gonna say maybe she's better. So HP 60 and it is fire type. Returning flames, put two energy cards from your discard pile to your hand. So actually now that uh, Chimchar where he's discarding energy kind of could come in handy. Live Coal does 10 damage. So again, nothing special for a basic Pokemon. Uh, it is mainly used to draw that discard energy so you can get ready for Rapidash. You need two of those energies. So Rapidash, we do go up to 90 HP. Uh, rear Kick for 30. Fire Blast for 70, but you need to discard an energy attached to the... Wow, so much discard in these decks. All right, and if you saw my uh, Sun and Moon uh, gameplay where we did the Lunala and um, Solgaleo decks, that was one of the troubles I had with Solgaleo was a combination of the discard uh, that that deck relied on and not getting any cards to help me actually get anywhere. So Clink Clang, Clink Clang is our next line. So 50 HP for a basic, normal, uh, 10 times disorderly flip. Flip four coins, this attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. Again, we've discussed thoroughly my love for flipping coins. So Clang goes up to 80, so a 30 HP bump. Uh, Vice Grip does 30. Uh, disorderly flip, flip four coins, this attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. Yay. <laughs> so we got three clang, three clink, and two clink clangs. All right. And that was getting too annoying trying to do all three. So we're just going to say, here, here's clink clang. All right. So it does go from 80 to 140 HP. So I memorized. He does have an ability. Abilities are always useful. Well, except for in that last deck, we saw it wasn't. Um, heavy bumper. Any damage done to this Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10 for each energy on your opponent's active retreat cost. All right, so for each energy in the retreat cost, it reduces the damage by 10. So if they throw somebody out like us, that's 30 less. They throw out somebody big like a Snorlax, that's 40 less. Uh, gear Spinner, 70 damage for three energy. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Gear Spinner attack does 70 more damage. So as long as you can keep them out there, this goes from 70 to 140 on the second turn. That's not bad. I will forgive all of the flipping of coins because of that one move. So our next is our Litleo line into Pyroar. Uh, Litleo is 60 HP, again, basic. 30, flip a coin, boy, and it does nothing. We don't even have a chance of doing something. We have a chance of doing nothing. Oh, I'm gonna love tonight, guys. These decks are gonna be fun to play. And for those of you watching on YouTube, it's going to be fun for you to watch tomorrow after this video is uploaded because the other one will be just just subscribe, hit the notification. Don't worry when they get uploaded, right? Pyroar, big jump up to 120. I do like that. Flame charge, 60 damage. Search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck. I like that better than the discard one. Incinerate, 90 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's nice. It gets rid of tool cards as well. So that is a nice one. He is probably our primary attacker. Uh, but let's check out our Volcanion. Things could change. Volcanion could come in swinging. So Volcanion, 130 HP, of course. Fire type. Power Heater does 20 damage. Choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach energy to them. Oh, that is beautiful. But it's got to be from the discard pile. So now I see the reason they keep discarding that energy. That's actually really nice. Um, 
Steam Artillery does 100 damage for three energy, and it doesn't have that same limitation where you can't use it on the next turn. So there you guys go. That is the theme decks, or at least an overview review of these theme decks. Like I said, you can probably find them at your local Target for 10 bucks if you would like to play these. Uh, theme decks are a great way to get started. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, like I said, hit that like and subscribe and bell notifications to know when the TCGO gameplay goes live. For those of you on Mixer, of course, I will be right back. So until next time, guys, peace.